Hello folks, we're going to discuss the 2021 IP mat IM indoor paper. It's a beautiful, beautiful paper, bunch of very interesting questions. But before that, I want to think about, hey, how should one approach this paper? And so uh, there are going to be, or there were uh, 30 questions in this, 10 short answer questions, 20 MCQ questions. Every question gets you plus four marks if you get marks on the back. The MCQ question, the multiple choice questions, we have a negative marking of one. And so, so you should have a plan. And it's super crucial to have a, a mechanism of sieving through the level of difficulty and then saying, look, I can, I, these are in my territory, these are not. And super important because the questions were interesting, uh, exciting, across several topics, challenging, fun, but, but, it's a very crucial but, but of varying levels of difficulty. There were two or three sitters, two or three impossible ones, seven or eight doable ones, seven or eight tricky ones and then a territory in between the territory in between it's all right if you if you go this way or that way but you must get the two three sweaters you must not touch the uh, really cranky ones and then you should get the remaining seven or eight easy ones so if you get 10 good ones in the bag then you're almost good to go you can you can clear section cutoffs when i've categorized this into a, a bunch of questions i've looked at all 30 in one shot and so i say the, the arithmetic questions exponents and logarithm, exponent uh, progressions, APGP, those questions come here. These are doable, not too time consuming. If you're, if you're ultra quick, you can do it in one and a half minutes. If you probably take your time, pause and gather your thoughts, be careful with the max, you can do it in two, two and a half minutes. Any which way it's value for time spent, these seven you must have in the bag. This question, this exam has a heavy bias towards uh, uh, number theory. Uh, lots of lots of questions from number theory. What is the last digit of this? Uh, which four digit number could work? And that kind of category questions, which are interesting. For some, just common sense is sufficient. For some, some theory is required. Any which way, in that number theory, in sequence and some series, maybe a little bit of set theory, there are about six questions there. Not cranky math, very doable math. Uh, some simple number theory ideas thrown in. You can attack the six. Then come combination combinations, effectively counting. How many ways are there of doing this? How many options are possible? How many different combinations exist? Those about three questions. Technically speaking, if you cover this and this, you're coasting beyond the cutoffs, section cutoffs. You're through. And you're going to clear section cutoffs in both sections, both the theta part, short answer part, and the MCQ part. You add this in the back, you're very comfortable. Your chances are you're going to get more for your ATS score. And for for getting a clear understanding of what is section cutoff, what is the minimum mark in section, how does one computer compute an ATS score, which ATS score is sufficient, how should I plan for the paper to get an optimal ATS score, what are the weightages across sections that we've seen, check out our other video where we discuss that in detail. I'm going to spend time on this from a quant point of view. How do you approach a quant section? Where do you get marks in the bag? How do you plan for that? So for, for knowing what ATS means, uh, what a composite score means, which is important, how do you have a plan to get to an ATS score of 50. For all that, check out another video where it is uh, where we where we dive into that at greater depth. I don't want to do the same thing in multiple format, but in order to clear section cutoff, this is sufficient. If you go till counting, you're probably clearing the section cutoff and getting some some extra value for for boosting your ATS score. Then comes this this topic: someone someone functions and trigonometry. Functions and trigonometry are seen here and here. There are some questions which are uh, doable some are crankier and so these two they're not that much variety over topics we're talking about functions trigonometry coordinate geometry some elements of geometry and so they're not not like some some topics come here some come here the same set of topics some are doable some are cranky and so that stays here i would not touch this I'm not worry about both of these if anything and i have a lot of time and i'm coasting and i would attack this this accounts for about 25 questions, 7 plus 6, 13, 16, 20, 25. They're totally 30 questions. On top of this, there are five questions from LRDI. All of these are logical reasoning and data interpretation. All of these are multiple choice questions. So they are going to come from this pot of 20 questions. So for that pot of 20 questions, there is every chance that you might have to go for this. But for that, you need to be crystal clear. This is a hit or miss thing. There are five questions. You spend 15 minutes, but get all five right, you're a nice. And so, but if it's a 30 minute section and you spend 15 minutes and you've not cracked it, then you have only 15 minutes remaining to salvage that section, so it becomes high pressure. So 
it's a gamble it's a question that you need to ask yourself am i equipped to handle this can i can i have a shot at it should i start with it should i just say look these five i'm confident i'll get them in the bag then attack the rest or should i say look i probably don't want to go towards a gamble where it is five questions in one lot sometimes you can just look at that question and say okay this seems reasonable i think i have a shot at it and then approach that or you say look i don't get it i'll leave that spend a minute minute and a half to take that decision i've not brought that into the fold because every year that's a whole different question am i an lrdi person am i confident of cracking this five and putting it in the bag or it's only 30 minutes i don't want to spend 15 minutes gambling on that and then being in the middle of nowhere so I, i'm going to forget about it that decision could very much depend on hey what am i going to i mean i look at that puzzle looks reasonable in my area my territory a little bit of math i can do it then go for it otherwise stay out of it so which is why i kept this separate because a separate decision to make now this i talked about 30 questions topic wise and approach wise but to make it more meaningful we need to think in terms of what is the tata part what is the mcq part okay. tata arithmetic the three the three questions number three there were four questions remember this whole outline that we are doing is based on the 2021 ip mat god knows what will be there for 2022 but i can tell you that you should have some plan that plan if you ask me should be anchored around getting arithmetic in the bag number theory in the bag permutation combination in the bag and then not really worry about heavy duty algebra heavy duty uh, coordinate geometry with with pairs of lines and parabolas and ellipses uh, heavy duty trigonometry with trigonometric equations and sin squares and sin cubes sitting there uh, and coordinate geometry which is amped up beyond a reasonable point and geometry which is very difficult you can say look this is the part i'm not going to worry myself about and keep that aside and still have a reasonable route to completely nailing this paper so that is one approach if you are a commerce graduate and you are per se saying look i'm not that comfortable with uh math when heavy duty x s and y come when algebra equations come and coordinate geometry planes come and trigonometry starts coming in with sine and cos i'm very happy doing numbers and then you should focus on arithmetic number theory counting add set theory to it you're on ice that should be your plan uh, if you are an aspirant who's who's very comfortable or more comfortable with uh, with heavy duty mathematics if you are if you're prepared for your je or some some such exam once again this should be your strategy because i've seen that some of the questions here can get seriously time consuming especially seen in the context of what you can find here so you should say i you might go into the exam saying look i have a compelling advantage because i can i can handle functions and trigonometry i've done it for 2 years i know my stuff you must still say i'll do the speed time distance and and pipes and cisterns question put them in the bag then go searching for my additional advantage here if i do have some time to spare but if you say look i'll make my advantage tell and dive into this there's a chance that you do the tougher trigonometry questions and leave out some simple pipes and cisterns question which is really not that practical they're not giving you weightage per difficulty of question each question carries only four marks when so strategy wise all candidate this should be your order it should be your must do then next in line or kind of try to do or not try to do next to do need to do to clear cut off can do doable this is like try to do i i i cleared i got my 8 years i still try to do this so even the tougher topic but doable question this stay away from unless you have time to burn stay away from these and that should be the plan to do that now what have i done i've said look uh, uh, suhas has helped me out with this he said look if you categorize all these questions and said look this is all fun and dandy saying this is how we will do it we need to demonstrate and show that hey these questions are doable these are also attemptable if you know a little bit of theory this fun doable this slightly tricky but there are street smart ways of doing stay away from this so i can i can really talk bring context to this discussion only if you see the question if you're a if you're an ip mat aspirant you must not stop at this point of the video and say look this is sounds all, all all interesting you should say look i want to take this paper i want to go and attack this paper and see whether i can implement this strategy if you want to do that then then therefore hit a pause go and take this for paper take this paper in in kind of uh, in an exam setting there's a link available in the description box in the description box go take this paper like a 2 hour exam or like a 1 hour exam if you're doing only quant try to see if you have your mechanism of selecting the question and then come back here to do look at each question because i want to solve all these questions if you have in mind that you must take this exam in an exam context then you shouldn't see the solution you should stop right here and say hey all this gyan is good fun and beautiful brilliant up to i've seen this now i'm going to take the paper and see if i can implement 
question selection strategy with my own algorithm. You could be super comfortable with permutation combination, but not really comfortable with reminders and factors. In which case, bump up permutation combination, bump down number theory, and then have that mild variant, and then have execute that plan. But if you're saying at some point of time, I want to take this paper in all seriousness, stop now, pause now, and then attack that. The description, everything is available. Attack that and then come back. Now what I'm going to categorize this, I've said this should be the plan. Now if you look at the question numbers, there are three questions here, four questions here. Seven out of ten, you're coasting. You're coasting. And so even if you get one question wrong, six questions right is 24 marks. Even for general category candidates where the cutoffs are the highest, the section cutoff for this was 16 marks. Four questions right and you're clearing it. So if you attempt just these two in that half hour, which is very much doable, as I'll, as I'll demonstrate now, then you're coasting. You'll not only clear and get one of them wrong, some, some mistake, everybody makes a mistake. You'll still get 24 marks, which is not only clearing the section cutoff comfortably, but it's probably going to fetch you uh, an ATS score of eight to 10 marks. You pull on the back and say, look, we didn't that much. Right? Here, this is four plus two questions. If you get all of them right, it's only 24 still. Here, the, the, the cutoff is 21. So, if you have a strategy for this anchored around doing only the simpler parts of math, then you must have a serious think about those five LRDI questions. But that is five questions. And you might say, look, I'm not really comfortable with functions. I'm not comfortable with trigonometry. I don't get coordinate geometry. Trickier geometry, I don't know. If you put X and Y, I get confused. And you're, you're like, look, I don't want to touch that, but I still want to clear this exam. Then plan well is this. Go there, attack that LRDI question. Anybody who's, who knows some simple English and can apply common sense and think in a context well, can attempt that logical reasoning and data interpretation question. Get those five in the bag. Then go in this sequence. If you do that five plus the six, that's 11 question. Maybe get a couple wrong. Get only nine correct. Nine into four, 36. Couple wrong, that makes it 34 questions. You're still way ahead of this number. 34 marks, way ahead of this number, and in a position to add maybe 10, 12, 15 marks to your ATS score. We get 10, 12 in the ATS here, 10, 12 in the ATS there, another 20 in the ATS score for verbal, you're through and you're being sitting in the interview table. You must have a plan, once again, for understanding how the ATS score behaves, or how the cutoffs are placed, how vis-a-vis -vis the cutoff, how you should move to get a good ATS score, watch our other video. And that's again, I'm giving the link, the link is given in the description. What we are going to do now is to say, okay, this is the plan, this is the strategy. I'm going to attack these questions and see how we can go about actually solving them. Since I've categorized these by topics, I'm not categorize them by short answer and MCQ. They're a mixed bag. That's all right, because if now I want to set the context over a 30 question quant paper. I'm saying these you should do, these you should kind of try to do, or, or you need to know one more layer, then these counting questions then bonus territory. I'm going to attack these questions in that order. Wonderful. Let's go.